Hello out there everyone. We get a lot of questions here at Ludovine about how do we work with food from the farmer's market? How do we create something local? Well, it's a lot simpler than you think. Now when you go simple, it's about the details. So what we've done today, went to the farmer's market this morning, picked up some stuff that you can go and get as well. I'm gonna show you how to make a quick, simple, easy, delicious dish. I'm gonna show you what we got real quick. Swiss chard from our friend Marjorie out in Yukon. It's a rainbow chard, baby carrots, these carrots come from Yang Farm, and we also got beautiful, beautiful green onions. These are from our friends at W Bar M. And then here, just some good old delicious grape tomatoes from Crow's Farm out in Shawnee. Love these. And of course, dry shack sherry. Okay, so, shards, easy. Ribs, don't want them. Then take your greens, nice, easy, chop. Carrots. One, two, three. And then when you do your carrots, just give them a nice cut in half. You want everything to cook the same in this. So the importance of your knife cut is to make sure they're even so that things cook consistently throughout your dish. Then our green onion, we're gonna take it, take the bottom off, do a nice little split, run your knife through it. I like to leave it kind of whole so you get some texture and then we'll move on to bias then for your tomatoes you're gonna add these at the end of the dish they're gonna add a great amount of sweetness and freshness the great thing about spring at the farmers market is that the quality of the ingredients is so high and abundant that you really don't want to do much to them you know you can get a cookbook and go through and do all the, the fancy stuff but you don't have to. Um, just some simple knife work and a little bit of heat will get you a great dish and let the product that you look for sing. The fish we're gonna do today is Arctic char from Delancey. You'll notice it's got the color similar to a salmon. This is actually from Iceland. Line caught, sustainable harvest fish. So, the thing that's gonna take the longest is your beautiful piece of fish. So all you do, take your fish, flip it flesh side, a little salt, this mix we're using is Russ's special mix. Uh, you can't buy it, Russ makes it special. Only I and Russ know the recipe. But if you just ask for some, we'll probably just give it to you. We're, we're pretty easy. A little bit of oil, just to get your pan wet. Never cook fish on super high heat. It's gonna kill it, it's a muscle, so it's gonna tense up and it's beautiful and light and flaky. You don't want it to get all rough. You don't want to overcook it. Then while that's getting ready, we'll start our vegetables with the oil. Now, as you can see, I kind of got everything laid out here. I'm gonna start with my green onions. What the green onions will do is they'll kind of infuse into the oil and the sweetness will go into it. So when I cook everything else, that'll all be a part of each ingredient, bringing out the sweetness of each, each wonderful ingredient that we've got today. So let those start. Take your fish, skin side down. Give it a little shake so that stick. Our onions have started to sweat out a little bit. So the next thing that'll take a while to cook, carrots. Throw your carrots in, give it a shake, season a little bit. All right now our carrots, you can see it started to caramelize a little bit. So what we're gonna do at this point, take our greens, right in there. And also, I want to show you something, a little chef's trick. This is the skunk on You start to see it caramelize under there. Give it a little sec. You see the skin crispy. We're going to turn it over. And then reduce it to really low heat. Saute up your greens a little bit here. Now, when your greens start to break down, here comes the great sherry wine. Don't be afraid of fire. Alright, now what that's going to do Really bring out the flavors, caramelize all the brown off the bottom. The salt's gonna make it sweet. So at that point, pinch the salt. And you say, I don't see a sauce with this dish. This is actually gonna be the sauce. So, have a little bit of butter on here. Throw your butter in. Then what you're gonna do is it's called mounting. Just try to stir your pan, just like that. You get your butter to emulsify with that wine to make it rich and sweet. So, 
what you can see down here, it's starting to reduce. Eventually you're going to get a soft consistency. So right here at the very end, grab those great tomatoes that we've had from Crow's Farm, throw them in, toss them in the sauce, get it nice and fresh, taste it. Awesome, awesome. So, that's how quick and easy it is. I'll show you how to plate it up. Call it a day. Put your greens on the bottom. Arrange your carrots. Take your tomatoes. I'm going to stick some under the fish. Some just right around. Take your piece of fish you just made. As you can see, it's nice and caramelized. Take your extra sauce, the juice in the pan, right on top of the fish. And then remember we saved that piece of carrot. Here's your green. Just for some glisten. You arrange it beautifully right on your fish. All right, that's how quick and easy you can make a great dish. I think start to finish time probably took about eight to 10 minutes. So you can cook a great dish like this for your family one-stop shopping at the farmer's market and that's how easy it is. You want to see how good it tastes? Ricky! Lunch!